Hello everyone, in this lecture the topic, zero morpheme, is explained in detail with understandable examples. But if you are new to my channel then please don't forget like and subscription to my channel. Let me first define it. A zero morpheme, also referred to as a no morpheme, is an invisible morpheme that contributes meaning to a word but has no corresponding sound or written form. What does it mean? This is the best definition, which can explain the zero morpheme clearly. Basically, zero morpheme is also called no morpheme. But the question is, what zero morpheme is? The simple answer is, zero morpheme is nothing but, it refers to a morpheme which conveys a grammatical meaning in the absence of any sound or written form. Actually, as you know a normal morpheme, has an identifiable written form or spoken form, but a zero morpheme does not have any identifiable form or spoken sound in a word. Simply, you can say, a zero morpheme is a silent morpheme that conveys grammatical meaning but has no corresponding sound or written form. I think you are not getting the point. Just look at these examples. Observe the word. Replay. Basically, this word has two morphemes, one is bound morpheme which is re, and the second morpheme is play. You can see these two morphemes have their own forms, and you can see it clearly. Or look at this word, walk. This word also has two morphemes, walk is a free morpheme and ed is a bound morpheme. So, you can see these two identifiable morphemes. It means that these two morphemes can be seen or heard it, but remember that these are normal morphemes. But there are some words which have two morphemes but one morpheme, cannot be seen or heard so that is called zero morpheme. Just look at these examples. She put the glass on the table. Look at the word put. This word also has two morphemes. As you know this word itself is a free morpheme, and another morpheme is that it shows a past tense. Basically, this is a simple past tense, but you can see there is no separate form or sound for this morpheme. So, this is called zero morpheme. The reason is for this morpheme, there is no physical form or sound in this word. Basically, there are many words which have zero morphemes. Sheep are grassing in the field. Observe this noun, sheep. You can see this word also has two morphemes. You can see it is itself a morpheme, and another morpheme is that it shows plurality. Though, we cannot see or hear it and there is no separate form or sound for it. So, therefore it is called zero morpheme or no morpheme. Actually, there are numerous words which have separate form or sound for the plurality of them. For example, the dogs are barking in a distance. Look at the noun, dogs. This noun has also two morphemes, one is dog and, for plurality the separate morpheme, s, has been used. So, you can see, this morpheme has a separate written form and a separate sound, but, in zero morpheme there is no separate sound or written form, so, therefore it is called a zero morpheme. I hope you have enjoyed this lecture, but please don't forget like and subscription to my channel. Thank you.